There have been lots of polls over the last year. There'll be hundreds more polls. The only one that matters is the one when the general election comes. And the choice of that election is clear. It's to stick with our plan that is working. It's delivering change for people, ensuring that they can have the peace of mind that there's a brighter future for their children, that we can have renewed pride in our country. Or the alternative, which is Keir Starmer and going back to square one with him. Let's break this bollocks down. Stick with our plan that is working. Seriously? Despite promises to level up social mobility in this country, it's now its worst in over 50 years. Never in living memory have families got so much poorer over a single parliament. The government's latest measures put the UK on course to have the biggest tax-raising parliament in modern history. And if that's not bad enough, it's also given us the highest debt in 60 years. The Office for Budget Responsibility has just slashed its economic growth forecast. And the UK is the only G7 economy where real household disposable income per head hasn't recovered to pre-pandemic levels. That's some achievement. And it gets worse. Real wages in 2024 are forecast to be lower than they were in 2006. Just think about that. A staggering 14 million people are now living in poverty. A million adults can't afford to eat every day. Nine million are skipping meals and cutting back on food. Millions more can't afford to heat their homes, and record numbers are using food banks. We've got untreated sewage dumped in our rivers, crumbling schools and hospitals, and the Prime Minister says his plan is working. Never underestimate just how thick this government thinks we all are. It's delivering change for people. Well, let's take a look at exactly what that change is. Over the past 12 months, this completely out-of-control government has been busily shutting down accountability in Parliament through the courts and on the streets. We've had an anti-strike law designed to rob millions of workers of their democratic right to strike, to force them to work against their will and allow them to be sacked if they refuse. An Elections Act will lock millions of people out of the electoral process, a blatant act of voter suppression by the government and new laws will strip back our right to protest and limit our rights to judicial review, an affront to the very principles of fairness and government accountability. That is not the change that people voted for in 2019. Ensuring that they can have the peace of mind that there's a brighter future for their children. The UK has just been ranked by UNICEF, that's the United Nations Children's Fund, as the worst amongst the world's richest countries in child poverty levels. Just think about that. According to latest government statistics, there were 4.2 million children living in poverty in the UK in 2021-22. That's a staggering one in three children. And a major report from the Joseph Rowntree Foundation has just found one million children in the UK experience horrifying levels of destitution in 2022. That is the most extreme level of poverty, with families unable to meet the most basic needs of keeping warm, dry, clean and fed. Just think about that. One million children living in destitute homes. It's an 88% rise since 2019. And if all that's not heartbreaking enough, the number of children in food poverty has actually doubled. Happy New Year, everyone.